Welcome back to another episode of Coffee Crisp News. I am that Houston guy, your host, Sergio. And at the moment, I have some, uh, some really strange news that will make you question a couple of things. Well, it's just going to leave you with more questions than any sort of answers. And uh, the basic gist of it all is uh, we're going to be talking about Zelensky, okay? Um, that's the only way I know him. Uh, Vladimir, I think that's what, they, what his first name is. Vladimir, sounds like a freaking vampire. Uh, uh, this guy, uh, he, this guy treats the U.S. like a sugar daddy. And uh, he's not even that attractive. Okay. Uh, this guy, he was, uh, he was caught uh, using a green screen. And there was all sort of like conspiracies and... Um, you know, obviously there was propaganda, uh, articles written on his behalf to defend him, U S articles, U S propaganda. And, um, we're going to look into, into what, what's going on. You know, why is he using a green screen? Why are there all these cameras involved? Um, and, and we're about to find out how much of a clown this guy is. Okay. And uh, just a disclaimer, I do not condone the violence that's happening in Ukraine. Um, I, I condemn that behavior, that the, you know, the, the deaths that are happening. I condemn any sort of behavior where anybody is harmed by, by violence, um, especially by, by bombs or tools of war. But with that being said, and before we get into it, I hope you got yourself a cup of coffee, because I know I do. It's a little lukewarm, some Starbucks, but that's besides the point. Let's get right into it. All right. I'm going to read this article together. Look at that. Conspiracy theories explode after green screen photo of Zelensky resurfaces, right? Look at that. He's like the adopted child of the U.S., the U.S. adopted this guy, gave him all of our, uh, all of our stuff. I hate him. Look at this. Look at this camera. There's cameras. Um, uh, obviously, you see the green screen, and I mean, it just doesn't look good, you know. Like, and whoever did this was just doing it to distract the American people and everybody else. But let's look into it. Enough of my uh, of my voiceover. Let's uh, let's read on. One dumb conspiracy is a weekly column that debunks the most mostly wild conspiracy theories swirling around the web and runs on Mondays in the Daily Dots Web Crawler newsletter. Blah blah blah. Uh, let us crawl the web for you. Blah blah blah. Okay. Analysis. A photograph of Ukrainian President Vol Vol Volodymyr Zelensky standing in front of a green screen has ignited a firestorm of conspiracy theories online the image which has been shared all across social media has been cited as evidence that Zelensky is either being controlled by shadowy forces or no longer in Ukraine in a now deleted post on Twitter one user suggested that the image somehow proved that the Ukrainian leader was spreading propaganda this is how the impressive Zelensky speeches are produced lots of green screens and hitch high-tech editing the user wrote, Hollywood is helping out. All that technology is making things appear real. Impressive propaganda. We could not do it better ourselves. That's like a Twitter that, you know, somebody tweeted that. Uh, another Twitter user took the conspiracy theory one step further by ludicrously arguing that Zelensky may not even exist. In light of the Hollywood production, Zelensky green screen video circulating everywhere today, my question isn't where is he actually located, but rather... Does Zelensky even exist? The user, the user wrote. The image also made the rounds on Reddit's popular Reddit conspiracy forum where it received more than 800 upvotes. The photograph was discussed among conspiratorial circles on Facebook as well. Yet, as usual, all of the conspiracy theories circulating online are largely devoid of facts. For starters, the image is actually months old and was originally taken in June. 
Zelensky at the time was speaking at four tech festivals in Europe simultaneously as a 3D hologram. The Ukrainian leader was able to do so by standing in front of a green screen and special cameras developed by Evercoast, a technology company that provides 3D volumetric video capabilities for use in vi virtual production, augmented reality, and virtual reality. The speech was widely covered across the media in June, but somehow only just this month caught the attention of conspiracy theorists. This is far from the first time that Zelensky has been the subject of such conspiracy theories. Earlier th this year, deepfakes of the Ukrainian president were spreading online. Why it matters, the latest conspiracy theory targeting Zelensky shows how even something as simple as a month's old photograph can be used to spread false information. Even though the picture had already been featured by countless media outlets, the echo chamber of conspiracy theories online seemingly kept countless people from realizing that nothing conspiratorial actually took place. And that's the end of the, the article. But apparently, Zelensky, at the time, um, let's see if I can get this correctly, Zelensky at the time was speaking at four tech festivals in Europe simultaneously as a 3D hologram as a 3D hologram. Um, it was taken in June, originally taken in June. Okay, well, there goes your, your fresh big bowl daily cereal of propaganda. And um, I mean, in June, 3D tech uh, he was festivals. I mean, first of all, his country is at war, right? So what is he doing appearing at tech festivals? What is he like a gene? He's a dancer and a, a wannabe president. Uh, YouTube wants me to tell you that he is a legitimate president. But the word is that he is illegit illegitimate. He's not a real president. But YouTube says, because of their guidelines, wants me to tell you that he's a legitimate president. But let's be real here. Uh, he's got a war, first of all. He is not a tech genius, okay? He's not Bill Gates. Because that's what Bill Gates is. He's not a doctor. He's, a, he's the tech guy, okay? Uh, Zelensky is not a tech guy. Okay, people are dying uh, and over there in Ukraine, and he's, he's appearing as a hologram. But I mean, I guess asking questions makes me racist, a bigot, and also a white supremacist because I ask too many questions. But are they valid? Doesn't he have more important things to do, like beg for more money, more weapons from the U.S. Anyways, he's a disappointment. That's what he is. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me like, subscribe, ring that little bell. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. I really want to know. This is crazy. This guy is a scumbag. Um, I mean, he's a hero. I'm sorry, YouTube. He's a hero. Scumbag hero. Anyways, you know how I do. Thanks for being here. If you're a first time watcher, thank you. If you're here, if you've been here before watching my channel, watching my, my show, uh, thank you even more. And as always, keep it crispy. Thank you. Hasta luego.